Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 16 career mode. We're playing as Real Madrid. This is Season 3, Episode 5. Now guys, to start things off, we have the Squad Report. So you're most welcome to pause and have a look at your favourite players in depth. Stats, Messi has gone up a plus one alongside Neymar. As well. I don't know why he's morale's threatened. Sergio has hit the big 90 overall. Suarez has gone to a 91 Journey hasn't gone up any more stats. Martinez and Casilla. Lorente have all gone up a plus one. Yaya's gone a minus one. Daniel Cavalia has gone up a plus one. Morocco. Morocco? <laughs> Marco has gone up. Uh, Jesse Valajon has gone up a plus one as well. That Tottenham Hotspur. Dennis Cheryshev. Gone up in stats quite nicely there. Tony Cruz. Lucas Vazquez or Vazquez has gone up in stats at Sheffield Wednesday. Lucas Silva on loan at West Brom. A lot of my players in the Premier League, along with Raheem Sterling, gone up a plus one at Manchester United. Feguli Vettio going up in stats quite nicely. A lot of decent players for the future. Ruben Navas has gone up a plus two eighty one overall, twenty years of age, playing for Sassuolo in the Syria. Oh, but guys, in today's episode, we have two matches, the first of which is against Ajax in the round of 16, arguably one of the weaker teams in the pot drawn. Sorry to insult you Ajax fans, but <laughs> hey, what are you going to do? But uh, we are also, we also have a match against uh, Barcelona, I nearly said Real Madrid, <laughs> in the El Clasico home match at the Santiago Bernabeu. It's going to be an absolute cracker. We actually drew that last El Clasico, so hopefully we can uh, turn things around. But to start things off against Ajax, we've flown to the Netherlands. Journey will be facing his former side here today. He's gone up in stats just superbly. But we had a shot off outside the box Took a deflection more than anything, and the corner kick didn't amount to anything. Suarez finds Messi. The two Barcelona, former Barcelona boys, link up, and Messi breaks away. Cool, calm, and collected to make it 1 0 just before the 42nd minute. Huge morale boost to go into the dressing room, being that 1 0 up, and especially it's a lot harder for the other sides to, well, being 1 0 down, coming out. From the the dressing room at half or well, after half time is is difficult. It really is. Suarez hits it first time. Unfortunately, no more than a corner kick. Hammers, can we get one back? Ronaldo makes it two nil. And I was going on about it being one nil. It's two nil now. Uh, coming out from the dressing room. I kid, I kid. There's <laughs> there's not like a morale sort of deficit like in uh. Total War or something, that the players have a morale, a morale decrease, losing uh, goals at crucial points in the match. That'd be like an interesting feature to implement. Probably wouldn't really work over that well. But Yaya Torre, fresh off the bench, plays through Churney. Journey scores against his former side, gets the shot off just before the 90th minute, fresh off the bench, scores his first goal in the Champions League. This season, 86 overall, rough, uh, no, it was, um, what, <laughs> 86, <laughs> it was a 66 overall, roughly, I think, when we signed him, can't remember off the top of my head exactly, but now he's a 78 overall, been putting him in the, uh, the training session quite a lot in previous seasons, but, uh, here we go, guys, we have the El Clasico here today, Espanol, Levante, and Ibor. Eber, whatever you pronounce it, are in the relegation scrap. Messi is currently the top goal scorer of the La Liga. Let me know in the comments, who do you think is going to be the top goal scorer? Will it continue to be Messi? Obviously, joining Real Madrid earlier on in the season. Do you think I'm going to hit my objectives for the treble? They are obviously my main Pastore, Tello, Rakitic, Modric, Sergio Busquets, and Rahman start up front. Uh, Montoya, Alaba, Vermaelen, Matthew, and Bravo. Quite interesting they're not playing PK, Mascherano, or Robin, even though he's joining us next season on a free. But to start things off, we make it 1-0 just before the 20th minute. 
Messi scores against his former side, makes it 1-0. Um, but, uh, yeah, do you think he pick up player of the season in his first, in his first season? It's going to be incredibly interesting to see. Messi dominating, finds Ronaldo. Messi and Ronaldo link up, but it was a top-notch save from Bra Bravo. On the other side of the pitch, Christian Tello holding up the play, finds Rahman. He hits it straight past David De Gea to make it 1-1. Well, There's a really, really nice strike there from Rahman. We managed to draw 0-0 against Barcelona last time, but uh, yeah, they're back in it with a chance. You've got to give it to her with a heavily weakened side. Christian Tello holding up the ball, absolutely thumps it, hits the post, and nicks in just past David De Gea's left-hand side. But Sergio Aguero determined to bring it back. Messi breaks away, finds Suarez, and the former Barcelona boys linked up to score against their former side. 2-1 up. Very nice goal from uh, Suarez. It's kind of like a kind of a tribute to Barcelona. We're actually struggling to score against them with their own players. So it's a great sort of showcase of their, I don't know. I can't think of the word. Resilience, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. But David De Gea manages to throw it straight to Sergio Aguero. Sergio Busquets fucking just keeps on going. And Pastore, my God, in the 87th minute, makes it 2-2. And it looks like we quite cost, quite possibly could be drawing, but maybe it's because I'm playing the 3-5-2 formation, being a little bit exposed at the back there on legendary difficulty. But it was pretty shitty, scrappy goal. Laporte, a lot of problems. We really, really shouldn't have conceded that. And we managed to draw again against Barcelona. 2-2 in this match, 0-0 in the previous. But I'm going to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on my social media links. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram are all in the description below. But guys, take one thing after you watch the video. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Take care of yourself because I really do care about you. And stay tuned for more content on my channel. Simsy out. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.